Coming up, we're going to be talking about Doctor Who, a second season of Renegade Now, and also a cancellation of a new series. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's Easter Monday, and it's time for our Disney Plus news roundup. It is the start of a brand new month, but it's also April. So, uh, but honestly, there's none of this April Fool stuff because I can't stand that. But nevertheless, let's jump into some of the days. Big at Disney Plus news. Let's start off with talking about Doctor Who. We had a brand new trailer drop on Easter Sunday. Um, I think this show looks great. It's going to have lots of different stories in here. We've got dinosaurs. We've got aliens, talking babies, musical episodes, stuff set in the 60s. It just looks a lot of fun. I really enjoyed Doctor Who. Been a big fan since I was a kid. Really liking Shooter Gatwa so far. I'm looking to see where this series goes. Um, nice modern, all the special effects look amazing. Just looks something so much better than what we've seen from the BBC over the last decade or so. It just looks really good. We've also had the episode titles released for this upcoming series, which includes Space Babies, The Devil's Chord, Boom, 73 Yards, Dot and Bubble, Rogue, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, and Empire of Death. Now, while many of the upcoming episodes look like there's going to be a lot of fun with the talking babies and the music episodes, it looks like there's going to be something a little bit darker with the threat of the entire universe and the Doctor's going to try and sort out. But looking forward to seeing it when it drops on to Disney Plus around the world and on BBC here in the UK. So it's coming out with the first two episodes on May the 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern time and that'll be at midnight UK on Saturday morning so we're all getting it at the same time um, but it's gonna be on BBC iPlayer here for us in the UK with two episodes dropping for that first one and then it'll be airing later on that same day on the BBC and for the rest of the world you've all got it on Disney Plus um, so yes this is a big start the big reboot if you've never watched Doc 2 I'd say jump in now watch the Christmas special that's probably a good place to start off but this new series is when anyone can jump in you don't have to have watched anything from the last 60 years to understand it it'll all be explained as we go along but are you looking forward to the return of Doctor Who let me know in the comments below shifting gears now let's talk about death and other details which was revealed to have been cancelled over the weekend so this series came out a couple of months ago on Hulu in the United States and on Disney Plus around the world unfortunately for us here in the UK we had to wait until the beginning of March because they decided to hold on to it till the finale and I'm about halfway through the series I decided that you know it's a kind of show I like I would have liked to have watched it while it was coming out but with it being a little bit delayed, kind of took the urgency away from it because I, you know, could just watch it at my own leisure. And I've been enjoying it. I like these kind of murder mystery um, series. But unfortunately, it has been cancelled and will not be returning for a second one. And apparently, there is a cliffhanger at the end of this one, kind of setting up something that's going on. As I said, I haven't got to the end yet. But I, I'm kind of in this weird thing of like, do I want to watch the, the other like four episodes that I need to watch to finish the series? Or do I just throw it on the done pile? I kind of feel like I'm far enough in. I kind of want to know what happens. Um, but at the same time, now I know there's not going anywhere. I don't know. This kind of series always felt a little bit like it could just be a limited series anyway. I like the, the look of it being set on a cruise ship that is set now. But well, the, the theming of the 50s, I thought it looked pretty cool. But yeah, I like this kind of stuff. But yes, yeah, just another show that's been cancelled. Now, I am also thinking I probably need to watch it pretty soon because of what Disney's like when it comes to removing stuff after they've cancelled it. So hopefully that's not going to happen. But again, just another cancellation of a show which just didn't catch on, which is kind of ironic because here in the UK, it's been trending since it launched. Um, and this is where I think sometimes with the, the split up with the, the launch and also they never seem to take into account how it does internationally as much. But nevertheless, let us know. Um, what do you think of Death and Other Details being cancelled after one season? Love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. And um, before we go on to the next story, if you haven't already done so, make sure you do hit that like button. It really sends a strong signal to YouTube that you like our content and also just, you know, drop us comments and stuff. All of it really helps. Last week on Good Friday, Disney did release the brand new series Renegade Nell on Disney Plus around the world. Brand new British series all about a character called Nell who her uh, dad dies and ends up getting set up for murder um, but she's got the help of a little fairy that can go inside her and give her super strength, super speed, super reflexes. And she goes out to kind of, you know, get her word back and, you know, get her sisters back to having a home and all the rest of it. And I thought it was a good, good show. But recently, the show's director, Ben Taylor, spoke with Radio Times to promote the series and confirmed that work has already begun on the second season, saying we're now in the process of writing a possible second series. So you'll be able to take stock and figure out what would be the 0.2 version and focus on the stuff that was really working and do more of that. Ben also confirmed that there will be 
a time jump with the second season because they filmed the first season over a year ago and with the kids getting older they're going to have to explain them being possibly maybe two years older by then so that's what they're going to have to do but hopefully enough people watch it over the Easter weekend and beyond um, it seems to have been doing pretty well trending so far um, on both Disney Plus and in the US and in the UK but how that translates into the Nielsen charts who knows but uh, hopefully with it being a British show and it does pretty well globally, there's a better chance of it being picked up. But it's always nice to hear that work is starting on this one. But let us know, would you like to see a second season of Renegade now? Love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. Um, the big new release around the world was a brand new series at Vanderpump Villa. So this one is out on Hulu and Hulu on Disney Plus in the United States, Disney Plus around the world. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I hated this series. I thought it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good, really good sell. Go watch it. Um, it's a reality series and they're set in this French castle or French like chateau. And it is just a load of people that are just after attention. They're not very good at their jobs, even though they say they are. It's full of drama. It's also fake. The guests feel fake. The whole setup feels very fake. And even though I like my reality TV series, this one just... I, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I'm not going to watch any more of it. Um, but So, yeah, so that's the big new one. Also in the United States, um, with the start of the new month, lots of new additions on Hulu on Disney+. Plus. If you go on the app now, you're going to find... Wonder Woman and Shazam, Shazam too. So yeah, so plenty of Marvel, you know, you can jump in on the DC stuff now. But there's other things in there, don't worry darling. Um, uh, yeah, just lots lots of great shows and films and stuff that have been added for the start of the month, which is really now starting to kind of ramp up. Going into Disney Plus this morning and seeing the app, like, oh yeah, we're getting some, we're getting some good stuff now um, with the start of it and the new way they're doing it all. But let us know, are you going to be watching Vanderpump Villa or are you going to watch Wonder Woman? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. In our question of the day, which comes from Nick, who says, Roger, do you think they will open an ESPN hub on Disney Plus in the US in August of 2025? So Disney has already confirmed that in August of 2025, they're going to be launching a brand new direct-to-consumer ESPN app, and it's going to have all of the content from the linear channel. So you're going to be able to watch all the big live games, etc. What they're going to do with ESPN ESPN Plus, I would imagine it's going to merge in and there's no point having two different streaming services, you just want to have one. But it's going to be a new version, look different, all the rest of it. So it's going to be launched in August, as I said, next year. They have confirmed it's going to be available within Disney Plus in the same way that Hulu on Disney Plus is running. So you're going to have to be subscribed to it to access it. They want it all in one app. So it has been confirmed to be happening. Um, yeah, that's just, this is separate to the other streaming service that they're launching later this year with sports with Fox and Warner Brothers Discovery. They're just bundling that with Disney Plus. It's not going to be interconnected. Um, I think we might get an idea of how it might look later this year when down in Latin America, Disney Plus is going to have Star Plus merged into it and there's going to be an ESPN hub in there. So that might give us an idea of what's going on. Hopefully as well with this, maybe they fix some of the issues like here. Um, in Europe where we lost ESPN player and they haven't replaced it because I would really like to watch the new season of the UFL um, but we can't watch it anywhere even though Disney has the rights to some of it but it's nevertheless but yeah so I expect we'll see more of that ESPN stuff dropping in next year but yeah it's you can, you've already can start seeing that Disney have not been putting ESPN content on um, Disney Plus in the same way um, because I think they're getting ready to kind of do a little bit of an add-on there for that one but Nevertheless, let us know what you think of all of this in today's um, video in the comments below. If you've got a question, if it's really cool, I'll pick it out for tomorrow. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. Hope you all enjoy um, your Easter weekend. And on that note, see you guys soon. Laters.